Hi guys, my name is Claudia and we're going to do a little sequence today to target lower back. So this is going to be perfect for those of you that have lower back pain or discomfort. Uh, let's go ahead and start in a child's pose. We're going to bring the big toes together, separate the knees wide apart, sit back on the heels and try to relax the head in between the arms. Let the head completely drop. Good. And let's start just softening the body, softening the shoulders, softening the face. Take a moment to close the eyes and observe your breath, keeping your natural breath. Breathe in through the nose and out through your nose. When you're ready, cup the fingers and keep the hands on the sides of the mat so you get a nice distance between both hands. And let's start just adding some movements with the torso, movement with the hips. Start observing the sensations you have as you move. And keep that awareness on your breath. Observing your breath during the whole practice and try to move with the rhythm of your breath. Good, when you're ready, walk the hands to the right, and we're gonna bring the chest on top of the right thigh, and let's try to get a nice side body stretch on the left. You can bring the left hand on top of the right, that's optional, or keep the hands separate. Make sure you relax the head in between the arms, and let's Breathe into the left side of the torso of the body. Good, and when you're ready, walk the hands to the left. And again, try to bring the chest on top of the left thigh, keep the hands separate or if you want to go deeper, right hand on top of the left. And again, head completely relaxed, face relaxed. Beautiful. When you're ready, bring it back to center. And let's all come to a tabletop position. So plant your hands firmly, spread the fingers wide. We're going to tuck the toes under. And now let's do some cat cow. So when you inhale, you arch your back, you drop your belly, you look up. When you exhale, press the floor, round the spine, bring the shin to your chest. And again, as you inhale, you lift your tailbone, you arch your back. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Nice, let's do a couple more. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Two more times, breathe in. And out. And last one. And round the spine. Beautiful. Back to center. We're going to bring the big toes together again. Sit back on the heels. And this time, big circles with your body. Let's go in one direction first. And feel free to move your shoulders, to move your neck. To incorporate those cat cows we did before into your circles. Let's take three. Two and one big circles in the other direction. So starting from the left, and again, think about getting a lot of mobility to your body, to your spine, to your shoulders, to your neck.
Good. And back to center. Let's find our first downward facing dog. We're going to spread the fingers. Make sure you press down the tip of the fingers and then lift the knees and find that inverted V position. Yep, and let's add some movements to this first down dog. So maybe bending one knee at a time, shaking your head side to side. Any movement you want to play with, feel free to add it to your practice. When you're ready, walk the hands back towards your feet. And let's find a gentle forward fold. So make sure you keep your knees bent. Yes, slightly bent. Keep your torso relaxed. Let it completely drop. And let's grab opposite elbows and just move gently side to side. And again, release any tension from the neck, any tension in your face. Let it go. start feeling what's happening in your lower back as you do your stretches, your movements. What are you feeling? Good. And when you're ready, release your hands. And again, walk the hands to the front. Let's go back to that downward facing dog. Beautiful. This time we're going to bend the knees and try to bring your chest towards your thighs. Keep your hips high and let's hold it there. Let's take three, two, and one. Beautiful. Drop your knees down and let's come to a seated position. Yeah. Now extend the right leg to the front and we're going to send the left foot to the right side. Let's do a spinal twist. Yeah, first grab the left knee, lengthen the spine, try to keep your right foot flexed here and keeping that long spine, hold your right hand on the knee and send the left hand back. And let's get a nice twist. Yes, yeah, if you can look over that left shoulder or look to the left. Good, and breathe into your pose. Center, we're going to twist to the other side, so left leg forward, right foot to the left. And again, let's do some preparation before we get. Flex that left foot, grab the knee, lengthen the spine, keep the shoulders away from the ears. And then keep your left hand on the right knee as you send the right hand back. And again, make sure you keep that long spine, you keep that long neck. You can look to the right or maybe look back over the right shoulder. back to center. We're going to extend that right leg again and this time bring the left foot to your inner thigh. Yeah. And again, adjust yourself, take your time. When you're ready, find the center in between both legs and we're just going to walk the hands forward and bring the chest in between both legs. Good. Try to keep your right hip down. Probably you feel your right hip lifting. Try to keep it down on the floor. And again, try to soften your shoulders, your face. Observe the sensations in your lower back, but also the rest of the body. And then back to center. Now let's do Janusha Shasana, head to knee pose. Bring the right hand to your thighs and the left arm up. And now we're going to twist our body to the right leg. Try to bring the chest on top of the right thigh. And you can grab the outside of your right leg, maybe the outside of the shin or the outside of the foot. Lengthen your spine when you're ready. 
and then bring the head down towards your right knee. Good. And make sure you can still relax in the pose. You can still breathe there. You should feel the stretch on the left side of your lower back. Go slowly. Maybe going deeper when you exhale. back to center. Now let's do our gate pose. So send the left hand back and now we're going to bring the right hand behind your head and from here press the floor with the left hand, lift the hips. And let's get a nice front body stretch here. Let's get a nice back bend. Open your heart. Let's take five breaths. towards the center. Walk the hands to the front and again your left heel wants to lift, try to keep it down. Yeah. Move your torso, move your head side to side. Whenever you're stretching, try to relax there. Try to really focus on the breath. Release any unnecessary tension from the shoulders. And just focus on that part of your body that you want to stretch. Focus on creating space in that area. Good. And then back to center. Now let's do Japasher Shasana. Left hand to your thighs and the right arm up. And again, you want to twist your body towards that left leg. Bring the chest on top of that left leg. Grab the outside of your shin, of your foot. One more time, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, bring the head down. And again, just relax your head there. If it helps you to add some movements, go ahead and do it. Sometimes rocking side to side. Help us relax more in the pose. center. Now gate pose, right hand back. And again, press the floor with the right hand, lift the hips, bring the left hand behind your head. And let's get a nice front body stretch, a nice back bend here. Now try to bring the knees towards the armpits, yeah? So separate the knees wide apart and bring the knees towards the armpits. Hold it there. Try to keep the shoulders down. Good. 
and then let's transition to a happy baby pose. So for happy baby, you can grab your feet, see if you can still relax your head. If you feel your head lifting here, if you feel uncomfortable, then grab your shins instead of your feet. Yeah, and let's rock side to side. If you can hold the feet and be comfortable in the pose, just hold your feet. Good, and think about bringing the knees down towards the floor. And as you rock side to side, you massage your lower back. Bring the knees back to center and now let's do a spinal twist, both knees to the left, extend the right arm, relax the right shoulder. Once you find that pose, try to let your body completely relax there. Let your right shoulder soften, let your knees relax. switch, bringing the knees to the right, extend the left arm, once you get there again, just let everything fall, let everything relax, shoulders, knees relaxed, face relaxed, And then go back to center and let's just all take a little shavasana so we're gonna lay down on our back relax our feet relax our shoulders and make sure you stay here for at least three minutes just letting the body uh, completely let go letting the body soften i'll let you stay on shavasana on your own thank you all for sharing this little practice uh namaste